So, we're fighting Tide Time here, boys. Um, playing the Isis. I've had a lot of success with Isis versus Apollo so far. Um, but he does have some uh, really neat tricks in the matchup, Apollo. He can uh, mez me out of my one. Um, and the thing is, though, he has to commit really hard to, uh, to an engagement, like with a dash and stuff, to really run me down. Uh, and if the, all of that's down, I have a good... Uh, um, I have a good counter with with like you know my silence into two into ult and stuff. So it's a it's a fun matchup and it's actually uh, you know a pretty good one for Isis. So let's see how we do here. I don't know why he always starts at that red. That's my red, sir. I have the uh, positioning here for the wave. He has a pot on Apollo, huh? Yeah, excellent, excellent position for me to be in right now. Are you kidding me? Okay. Somehow that just happened. I have no idea, boys. <laughs> that was interesting. Wasn't a crit or anything, just somehow killed. I guess a lot lower health starting on the Isis than I thought. Really, really unlucky. Um, really sucks. Oh well. He really needed that because he would have been in such a bad position. But, you know, I guess it worked out for him. That sucks. It's just really rough because he because I lost my pot, so not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I need to kill him here, so I wanna put as much fucking pressure as I can. He's just gonna ult over and probably kill me. Do I even have enough to clear the wave? Ah, nope. Here it is. Man, that is so unfortunate. Honestly, like... I just, I needed to save that spirit ball. I shouldn't have thrown it out so haphazardly. Uh, it really looked like he was going to continue uh, walking in that direction, but he didn't. He's going Devil Gloves. It's interesting. He has so much control right now. This is awful for me. Really awful. It's going to take quite a lot to come back from this. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. As you can see, I'm barely clearing the wave right now. It's just a terrible, terrible position for me to be in. It sucks too because I really think he went the wrong build with the uh, pot here. Naturally, Isis is going to push him out. He just got a really lucky first blood and it ended up, you know, completely working out for him in this position. But yeah, otherwise in this position it would have... Uh, you know, certainly uh, worked out in my favor him not going the uh, throwing dagger here. Super safe. Just really have to hope for something late. Gonna be rough, man. Gonna be rough. Alright, let's finally get out of here. He has almost a, a one level lead here. It's gonna be tough. I'm going the um, 
Shoes of the Magi here so that I have a little bit more burst. Uh, I'm definitely going to go with Breastplate, so... So I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to need the... Uh, Dodge that, his ult down, good position, he barely got any damage off of it. Yeah, I'm gonna need some burst uh, since I'm going to breastplate and the uh, Warlock Sash, and my build doesn't come online for quite a little while. This is dash down. Might be able to aggress here. Yeah, there we go. Isis is poked just so strong, man. We're able to zone him off of this here. I'm actually gonna look to uh, to strip it. However, I did poke it a little too much, perhaps. If I can hit him with a, a spirit ball in this position, he will just uh, uh, die to my combo. Well, never mind, boys. Never mind. Somehow he was not within range of my ult. I don't know. The, the throws. The throws. GG. Sucks. Still a little salty from the Hebo game. Just not making the plays right now. That sucks. It would have been a really good play. I didn't expect him to be that fast. He didn't have his boots online, yet he was still able to outrun the ult. Very surprised by that. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna try, but this is not looking good. Yeah, shit happens, unfortunately. I needed to go for something there because. Like I said, I'm in an awful position. 1k down. Um, yeah. But yeah, I still do believe we can win this. I mean, like I said, we're undefeated in this matchup so far. Uh, generally, seem to play it pretty well. Let's not give up just because uh, we've made a few very poor decisions. I like how well Isis can counter the ultimate engage from him too. What is this? He's not finishing with Fatalis, going straight into uh, crit here. Fatalis is going to be rough for me in this matchup, it will, for sure. I think I'm just going to go a uh, uh, gem of ISO here instead of a um, uh, instead of a warlocks. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'll think about it. It's certainly going to be hard to fight versus that Fatalis. That's going to be the the real uh, kicker here. And a good job of uh, taking back control of the jungle, though. We got both red buffs. So, yeah, four buffs secured uh, for this rotation. And slowly accumulating some gold. Excellent, excellent. Made up for pretty much everything right there. That was great. We got him to use uh, his Mez and his Dash. Big misplay from him, he missed the uh, the Mez. He's gonna look to ulti over, so I wanna clear this wave and get out real quick. All right, so that puts us right back in it. Just about even. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Let's go to Warlocks and let's get, uh, let's get the Breastplate. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go str straight for Nemean, dude. I don't need that much crit right now. I mean, that was crit. I don't need that much uh, cooldown right now. So, I like this uh, early Nemean. 
especially with his build. Like he doesn't have. This is the thing that I don't like about the uh, the no boots build. He has no damage early on at all. Like very very minimal damage. So. So I'm, you know, pretty content to sit here and uh, trade blows with him. While the Nemean does its work, winning the trade outright. That's awesome. Try to force out his ulti here, maybe. Let's see, nah, it doesn't look like he's going for it. Let's pick up the early shield of the underworld. Probably shield of the underworld plus beads here. Um, not sure if I want the uh, the sprint. Beads will be really strong for his mez. Ice is such a strong lane god, man. Has so much poke and so much safe clear. Oof, that damage. Able to poke him to half and clear almost all the way there. Like, I love her so much. <laughs> She's so fun. Zone him off of it completely. Some nice tower damage in there. Now we don't need to be too greedy here. I'm not gonna dive and kill myself again. Uh, he's probably gonna look to ult over. If he does, we're in a fine spot to fight him. Yeah, actually, watch this. Oh, I popped the shield way too early, unfortunately. There we go, boys. Oh my god. See, I love that. That counter initiate. You drop the ult so that you so that the ult absorbs all the damage from Apollo's ultimate and then uh, you just go ham. <laughs> you uh, immediately stun and uh, drop the rest of your damage. Huge huge counterplay. So yeah, the early defense I feel like really counteracts this uh, this build that he's gone into here, which I really, yeah, I, like I said, this is his signature build, and uh, I, I just don't feel like it's that solid of a build because uh, it can be uh, counter built so well. I'm going to go straight towards the rod here. He's going for the Executioner now, gonna pick up on some of the damage that he's lacking, uh, get himself some pen. We're in a great spot. He's looking to get into a spot to mez me here, but he's not gonna find it. Damn, look at the damage. I want to see if he adapts here and uh, uses his uh, his ultimate but doesn't land on me immediately, like flies over me once. That would be a good play. Because he would, you know, force me to pop my ult early. And uh, it would be a complete wasted ult for me. But I try to do it on reaction, pop the ult like right as he comes down on me. So hopefully I don't get uh, uh, played like that. We have enough for the rod, this is really big. Like I said, this build just delaying him so far, he doesn't have anything to scare me right now. And with an early rage as well, Nemean just uh, working in my favor so well.
he's gonna stick around. It might cost him. Let's find out. Damn, never mind. I would love for him to dash at me here. Look like he's gonna do it. He'll probably look to ulti me again. I'm gonna back, but if he does all, let's see. Now. Alright, get that rod online. Let's get the beads now. And start building. Hmm. Divine Rune. Divine really uh, will just allow me to uh, box him even better. The uh, Shield of the Underworld, of course, counteracting all uh, lifesteal. And then the Nemean doing a lot against lifesteal as well, but he could uh, opt into double lifesteal here. Oh my god, look how much damage coming out from that rod. Might need one more defensive item. Seems like he's starting to do a lot of damage with that... Uh, Executioner. There we go. Got out of the range of his mess. I was a little awkward there. I actually meant to pop beads when I popped uh, shield earlier. Um, but it worked out. And my ult was, was atrocious. I didn't hit him with it at all. But, but we still got the better of that engagement and made up for it. Get the Phoenix off of this. Let's push on to... Actually, no, not push on to the Titan, no. He might be able to kill me here with uh, with his ult. I'm going to try to back, but... No, he's in the air. Oh, good ult. Got silence on him, but uh, he hits it. Very nice by him. Alright, good autos. Uh, good stuff by him overall, securing that. Uh, he hit everything that he needed to. And uh, that proc on the uh, Frostbound Hammer is what really killed me there. But uh, I'm fine with that. It's a it's an okay position for me to be in regardless. I got the Phoenix. Uh, and he doesn't have a single point of damage onto my tower right now. And that's what's really, really important here. I am going to go for the Breastplate now. Because I have enough burst as is. And no cooldown. So might as well go into it. He gets to the tower and nothing else. My camera's shaking? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. I don't know why I was doing that. My leg's shaking, maybe? That's probably why. Nervous habits, man. Nervous habits. Now, Isis is able to uh, unleash a an enormous amount of damage onto the Titan with her... Uh, oh, this is good that he dashed there. Big damage. See, now I'm able to get a full one off onto the Titan. Huge, huge damage. He's going to look for me here. Oh, the beads were still on. Oh, no, I missed that. That's terrible. We're okay though. He's got Divine. He's not uh, gonna be able to life steal too much here. Oh, my auto's hitting harder than yours right now, homie. Oh my god, awesome. Okay, let's continue getting a little bit more poke on it and then dip out. Oh no, very nice play by him. Nice job, nice job. That, uh, me not having sprint here is really rough because of his, uh, uh, his frostbound. I just want to be there in time for his, uh, his phoenix to spawn, hopefully, because I've gotten a lot of damage in on the titan. I don't want it to all go to waste. Still a sensitive position in the game because Apollo, you know, big, uh, his push is just phenomenal, so. Uh, and he's actually going into defense now, so I might want to sell, uh, sell something and go pen here. Probably sell the Divine Ruin. Or maybe, you know, I'd probably sell the, uh, 
the breastplate. The cooldown's really not doing too much for me. It looks like I'm relying on bursting him down for the most part. But yeah, Pen will be a huge help here. Big damage onto the Titan. He'll probably ult me here. There we go. The damage just keeps coming out. He might be able to get me here. Which is okay again. Yeah, because I got so much damage onto the Titan. At this point, it's just about uh, how much poke I can get. And he can't get my Phoenix because of uh, Fire Creeps and his build just having like no pen in it. So. Yeah, he just doesn't have enough damage for me to warrant to... Uh, two defensive items here from me. He really should sell this Rage. Not sure why he's holding on to it. He's got a pot here. I think it's a 400 pot though, not a 3k. Hopefully. <laughs> That poke. Beautiful. He's probably gonna ult back over. Oh, never mind. He's here. Yeah, this is the end for him, basically. I didn't even want to be there. <laughs> I could have just beat, but yeah, that's it. GG, guys. Uh, really, really good game. Very happy with how that went. Shout out to Isis. Gave up a lot of kills there at the end, so it ended up looking like it was like kind of his game. You know, objectively, if you look at it, it was four to five. Um, but really, the uh, the deaths were all uh, for Titan damage or for Phoenix damage, which you know, of course, I'll take. Um, that's a big part of my playstyle. I uh, will take uh, uh, what's it called. I'll take uh, structure points for uh, for deaths. You know, I'll do it over and over as long as it's worth, man. Like take half of his titan for a death. Like sure, that's uh, <laughs> I am fine with that. Overall, you can see the damage numbers here. Um, like I said, his build just really, really stopping him from uh, from being able to do much to me there. 16k in uh, a pretty extended fight in a pretty uh, extended game rather is not you know just not uh, enough so